Hey guys, this is the power off stall. We're once again in the practice area next to Daytona Beach at 3,000 feet heading uh, west. We're gonna pick our uh, reference point, uh, it's just the middle of the lake there. Uh, 3,000 feet, we're gonna reduce the power to 1200. We're doing the clean configuration. Now, we're basically gonna hold the altitude very similar to slow flight. As our airspeed decreases, we're looking for 65 knots. So we're maintaining 1200, 3000, 65 knots. We're gonna start pitching down for about three seconds, holding that airspeed. And then we're gonna idle the throttle and start bringing the nose up. Now really fight with the plane, keep the nose up until you reach that full stall where the nose just goes down because there's no more lift. Once that happens, release the yoke to release the angle of attack and add full power to uh, increase your airspeed and then start the recovery losing uh, the minimal amount of of altitude that you possibly can and, and uh, maintain a decent climb gradient uh, until you reach your uh, original altitude and then you just level off and the maneuver ends. Now in commercial for example we're gonna do the stall but we're gonna stop in the first indication of a stall uh, in regards to uh, private course where we do the full stall until the, uh, the nose just goes down because there's no more lift. Yeah, so that's how you do the uh, power off stall clean configuration. So now we're going to show the power off stall dirty configuration or landing configuration with flaps 30. So once again, at 3000, we're going to pick some reference points and we're basically simulating a stall during the flare over, uh, over the runway as you approach uh, the landing phase. So we're going to reduce the power to 1500, below 110 flaps 10, below 85 flaps 30 just like a slow flight waiting for that 65 approach speed as we reach it we're going to pitch down for two three seconds with 1500 rpm idle it and start bringing the nose up once again to about 12 degrees and hold it there now it might take a little bit longer since the stall speed with flaps 30 is a little bit lower then once again as the nose falls down you're going to put full power release the angle of attack from the yoke basically release the back pressure and immediately flaps 20 as we do in any recovery uh, from flaps 30 with full power. Now, as the air speed increases, past 62 flaps 10, past 74 flaps up, and just finish your recovery. Once again, we're supposed to lose uh, as little altitude as possible, and then recover to uh, straight level flight back again, and then reduce the power once you're about 85, 90 knots. So that's how you do a power off, both clean and dirty configuration. And see you guys next time.